Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I wanted to create a video using all this makeup that my friends, friends that my mom's friend gave her at work. Um, so I wanted to do like a full face kind of, not, it's not going to be full face because some of the products um, I do not use. But I wanted to do like a, a first impressions kind of using some of this makeup. So as you guys can see, I have my brows and my foundation done already just because they didn't, it didn't come with the foundation and it did come with the brow product, but I personally did not like it. Um, this is how the brush looks. So it is fairly, fairly thin and it's really, really long actually compared to like the, like compared to ones that I've been using and about the same, but still, I really, really like this one. I had tried it and I had tried it with the brow product that it came with, which looks like this. And this is in the shade Caramel, but this one did not work out at all for me. It was way, way too light. Um, so I do have my foundation done, and I do have my concealer, and I set my under eye with the Kat Von D powder. Um, but I wanted to set my entire face with one of the powders that it came with. I actually came with two of these, so I probably will be giving these away just because they're not my shade. This is one of the products that I did go ahead and I used already. And this is a Stila Illuminating Powder Foundation Refill with SPF 12, so it looks like this. And this is in the shade 50 watts, I'm guessing. I'm not... So when you open it up, it comes like in this little plastic thing with the little powder brush, buff, whatever it's called, and then the actual powder right here. And I thought it was going to be my shade because it looked pretty light. Looks like this. So I was like, hmm, it's going to look pretty good, but it did not. But I'm still going to use it just to go ahead and show you guys how it looks. So I'm going to take out my Sonia Kashuk number 130 brush. It's just this big powder brush. So I'm not sure if you guys can see around this area right here. And I actually need to get a new powder. Not even new, I need to get one in general because I don't set my face with powder. I normally set it with translucent powder. I was thinking I can do maybe so that way I c it can be like my shade was actually it doesn't look that bad honestly maybe the first time when I seen it how I noticed that it was like really really dark maybe that's what kind of stopped me but looking at it right now it doesn't look too too dark and what I can do as well is use like a louder lighter foundation I'm sorry so that way I can go in with this one so that it's gonna be darker because I do have a light foundation which is the Makeup Forever HD Stick in shade 123. This one's really light on me. So maybe if I go in with that one and then with this powder on top, um, it would balance it out. So that was the, the powder foundation. And actually, now that I'm looking at it up close, it actually does look good and it doesn't look too, too dark compared to how it was when I first tried it um, or when, that I thought it was going to look too, too dark. So I totally messed up and this is why I was... Like, not wanting to do this video because I kept forgetting the step and I kept doing it wrong. I should have applied this first and then the powder. But, I mean, it is what it is. And this is the Stila One Step Bronze Bronzage Skin Toning Illuminating Bronzing Serum. It looks like this. This one doesn't... It just says 911B. So, I'm just going to apply some. Ooh. It comes out looking like that. So normally you want to put creams and stuff before you set your face, but I forgot that step, so I'm just going to apply it right here first. I can already tell that I am not going to like this at all. Then one side out with this like stippling brush by e.l.f. So as you can see, it's not really, really like defined or anything of that sort. It's really natural, I guess you can say. And when I'm blending it out, it feels like wet, like really wet, kind of like. And then when I when I blended it out on my, on my cheek, it felt um, like as I was blending it, I got like little like balls of like or little crumbs, I guess you can say. It's like right here. I'm not sure if you can see that. 
but it does feel like wet. Okay, so that's what the bronzer, as you can see, it's kind of like patchy too. I'm not sure, probably it was because of how I had set my my cheek already. But other than that, I did get it like give it a subtle, subtle bronze. Nothing too, too dramatic, which you know I'm not mad about, um, because I can always go in with powder. So actually, I'm gonna go in with powder, and this one is not from Stila. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Bronzer. I'm gonna go with like a big um bronzer brush so a lot of these products are like cream for like your cheeks which I personally don't use cream like this is one of the the cream lip and blushes it looks like this so these right here are the lip and then these six up here are blushes but, I mean, I honestly don't ever wear cream. But I will go ahead and I will swatch these at the end of the video once I'm done with the entire look. Just so you guys can see if you guys like the pigmentation and I can give my thoughts on them. So for eyeshadow, there wasn't, like, realistic colors that I would use, like, for an everyday basis. Um, but I'll go ahead and show you guys the ones that it did come with. And this one is in the shade Rain. So this one's, like, a brown kind of color. Like a deep, deep brown. This one is a black diamond. This one's like a black with... It looks like bluish, grayish, like speckles in there. I'm not sure why it's not focusing. And then I think it came with two of these. Yeah, I came with two of those. And it came with this one called Mystic. It's like a blue... Kind of metallic. You can't really see like the metallic in there. It's not matte for sure. And then it came with this one, which is Twig. This is like a burgundy kind of color. Again, it's not matte. Okay, and then the last one that it came with was Blue Sapphire. I mean, that kind of just speaks for itself. So for the eyes, let me just blend out these crystals. So I don't know what I'm going to do with the eyes, just again, because I said... These colors aren't kind of like realistic colors, but I'm going to try to do my best. I, I'm going to take just a transition color from the Jaclyn Hill palette, um, just because there wasn't a transition shade in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this. Just because since there are the dark colors in here, just to kind of, you know, Give me something to work with and just so I don't have to go straight in with the with the dark colors. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna take rain and take it on this Morphe M513 brush. I'm gonna take a little bit of this because I don't know how pigmented it's gonna be. So you can't really see it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stick that into the crease and blend it out. So it's not really, really pigmented as I'm noticing right now that I'm blending it into the crease. I thought it was going to be a little bit more pigmented. It's blending out really, really good with that um, that other shadow that I had down. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one, Black Diamond, which is like that black color with the speckles in it. And I'm going to apply that with this flat brush. So let's see how it's, I'm just gonna apply this all over the lid. So I did pick it up on the brush just a little bit, as you guys can see at that tip. Let's see. The pigment is there, but again, it is not as pigmented as I thought it would be. And I am getting a lot of fallout. So maybe if I like keep layering it, it will. So I'm not going to blend it out just yet, but I am going to wipe off all the fallout that it had on my face, which was kind of a lot. 
And then I'm going to take, I'm going to take that brush that I used to apply that rain color. I'm going to take a little bit more of rain just to kind of blend those two together. So as I'm blending the two together, I do see that the shade on the lid is kind of going away. Like it's not as pigmented as it was from when I first applied it. And they are, I'm having a little bit of trouble blending the two together. So that's what the eyes are looking like. So you can't really see the color on the lid anymore. It just looks like brown. And right now that I'm looking at it in person, it honestly just looks like a brown smoky eye. Um, you can't really see like the details on the specks on the on the lid. Which I'm kind of disappointed because I really like that color. Uh, maybe if I wet it with Fix Plus, but I don't have any Fix Plus with me right now. So moving on, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut my contour just so I can use the blush that it comes with. So while that is baking, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go in with this blush. And this one is the Stila Custom Color Blush in the shade. This one doesn't have a shade on it, actually. It looks like. And I have tried this one. And I've been wearing this one. This one is like, um, I'm not even sure how to explain the color. But it does have like gold specks in there, as you guys can see, like when I move it around like this. It does have gold specks, and this one is really, really pigmented. Um, but I absolutely love this blush. And you guys know that I'm not really a blush person. And I'm just going to take it on this angled brush. And then... I kind of just blend it back and into my contour. Now for mascara, I have used this one before on my channel, and you guys... And I have talked about this one. And this is the Stella Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. You guys know this was like my my favorite before I got the um the Benefit Bad Gal one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna coat my lashes. Actually for my lower lash line before I apply the mascara, um this Stella Sensational Eyes set came like this. And it comes with the shade Seashell and Burgundy, which they look like this. So I think I'm going to take the shade Burgundy and I'm going to apply that across my lower lash line. Just to see the pigment that it gives and just give it like a little pop of color as well. Oh, this one was really, really powdery. So let's go see how this one works. Okay, this one just instantly was definitely, definitely way pigmented than the black diamond one and the the rain okay so this one was really really pigmented this one i'm gonna use this one as well actually this one is the stilla smudge stick waterproof eyeliner in the shade stingray i'm guessing like a black which you can never go wrong and i swatched this one already and these are really really pigmented so i'm gonna go in and i'm gonna apply that to the bottom waterline and then now i'm gonna go in it came with two of these actually so i'm gonna go in with the stila art of the fine line stay all day waterproof liquid eyeliner set it looks like this and you just go ahead and you pull it out with like the aluminum kind of casing and um i'm gonna go in it comes with three colors it looks like this so it comes with the blue like a green and then like a brown so I'm going to go in with the brown and these as well. They're very, very pigmented. So I'll go ahead. I'm going to use this one as my eyeliner. And then the other two, I'll go ahead and swatch them just so you guys can see the pigmentation. And this one is in the shade Dark Brown. It's like the felt tip kind of liner. So I'm just going to do like a little... Can you guys see that right there? Okay, so this was the eyeliner. So as you can see, it's really pigmented. Um, I did like 
<clears throat> I did like it. The only thing that I did not like was it was really hard for me to do, like, the wing and the tip of my eyeliner. So I had to do it kind of, like, thick and then go in it with concealer and kind of clean it up. But I'm just going to go in and put some mascara on. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to swatch the green one, which is this one is in the shade Moss. So I'll just go ahead and let's as you can see they're really pigmented just the tip of like the the felt tip it's just kind of harder for it to kind of like flick out and then this one is in the shade midnight so this one's like a blue again very very pigmented and i'll go ahead and swatch the brown one on my hand so you can see it's really pigmented with just one swipe. Again, the only thing that sucked was the actual tip. So there was a few of the Too Faced liquid, I'm sorry, the La Cream color drenched lip cream in here. It came with three of them actually. One in the shade In the Buff and then two of Cinnamon Kiss. So I'll go ahead and swatch Cinnamon Kiss just because I'm going to use In the Buff. So Cinnamon Kiss, it's like a kind of burgundy, not Kind of more like of a mauve purple kind of color. Looks like that. So I'll go ahead and swatch it right here. So these are really, really pigmented as well. I'll go ahead and show you guys. Well, I don't know where I'm going. Okay. Just one swipe. Really, really pigmented as you guys can see. So I'll go ahead and use the in the buff. This one's just like of a nude. Which as you guys can see. And it is glossy. It's not matte at all. So that was pretty much it for this entire video of using products from Stila that I received from my mom's friend. Um, so going through the bronzer, um, since I did set it, so what you guys are seeing right now is kind of like the powder. Um, but as far as the actual product, like the like the cream or foam or whatever that was, um, I did like it, but then I didn't like it. I didn't like how it felt really wet, um, but I did like that it was really subtle. It wasn't anything too, too intense. Um, the eyeshadow, I did not like, unfortunately. They were not pigmented whatsoever. The eyeshadow that I used on the bottom, actually, that one was really good, which was, that was this one in this little palette. That one was really, really good. The lip, I really, really loved. Um, the, the blush, I'm sorry, I did enjoy. Um, as I said, I had been using that one. Eyeliner, I did like it pigment, like, pigmentation-wise. Um... Tip wise, I did not like just because again it was hard for me to do, kind of a wing. Which, you you need a brush, and you need an applicator that you're gonna like do really really good on your blush on your wing. I'm sorry. Um, and that was pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you guys have tried some of these products, make sure to leave them down in the comments down below. I would really love to hear if you guys have used some of these products before. But that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed, like I said. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you guys aren't already. And I will see you guys on the next one.